Hello world, I'm Glucarp and welcome to Book of Hours. We're doing our second run on the channel right now. So uh, let's just start. Uh, yes, we're going to overwrite our save here. Read everything, everything, read everything. We're not gonna read everything in this run. If you want to see me read everything, uh, you can go and check out my first run because there I did read absolutely everything. And well, if you want to see someone stumble around the game, uh, go check out my first run. Uh, we have knowledge now what we're going to be doing, so uh, this isn't going to be that much of a rumbling. So, we are in Brown Croc now. We have we have been in a storm, and we have been washed out to this beach here at St. Brendan's Cove. We are going to consider our journal with the memory, and then we are going to get things, uh, mostly like our starting uh, attributes here. So, we're going to start with a core or fet or shaft. Uh, the uh, last time we started with fet, so I think this time we're gonna go with core. Core is exuberance, instinct, rhythm. Do these mean something to me? Yep, they mean something to me, so we are going to grab them. Uh, rhythm especially means something to me, because I play the bass, so uh, that's our rhythmic instrument. Okay, so yep, yeah, we are now at Brankrug Isle. I will not give up easily. And then we get our second uh, attribute here or uh, element of the soul, as it's called in this game. Now, what this element of the soul does, it, it uh, de uh, decides uh, who is our friend in the town. So this is the Reverend, uh, this would be Denzel, the blacksmith, and these two are Mrs. and Mr. Killy, or Kill. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. I probably should have checked that. Yeah, I'm gonna just call them Kill Killies. Uh, and what we really want from here, because Basically, I think that getting the kill is, is like, that is the meta game to take one of these, because then you will get everything cheaper, because you can get both two people without actually using money, uh, whereas if you take either Denzel or the Reverend, uh, you can only get Denzel or the Reverend out without using any money. Uh, Red also gives us Grail, and we have Grail here in core, uh, so that means that we're going to grab Wist, uh, because Wist it's the name, the memory, that part which remains. It's important to me that things endure. Yes, it is important to us that things endure, because now we can get uh, Mr. Killy out with this. And we don't have an extra uh, Grail thing, because we already have Grail here. I don't want Grail from our second thing. So yeah, we're going to consider our journal with the Wist here. What remains of me? Knowledge. Yes, let's have some knowledge remain. And then uh, we will get an old friend's address. Yes, 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 yes. So this is... Uh, Mr. Killy is the coffin maker of Brangrock Village. I once wrote kindly of his poetry. His home is always open to me, though he's asked me never to mention poetry in front of Mrs. Killy. I can find shelter for tonight under their roofs once I reach Brangrock Village. And the way we reach Brangrock Village is that we wait uh, for uh, the... Oh, that's the fear, right. Oh, well, we wait for this to go over and then we put something in here, which is our core. Something in the wind. My instincts tell me it might be this way. And without a map, instinct is as good a compass as any. And then I believe we're going to find the fisherman here. Yeah, fisherman's assistance. So with the fisherman, we're going to talk to him. Yeah, we know a friend's address in this city. Yeah, he'll speak for us. And then he will no longer be uh, suspicious. He was suspicious a little while ago. Then we put him up here. Up, and, up, and unlock this, which unlocks us the entire village. So then we're going to use our wist. Oh, no, not our wist. Actually, our old friend's address over here where the Achilles live. Shelter, Mr. Killy struggles with the door. The wind almost snatches from his hand. The storm wind plucks at you both. Yeah, and then we're gonna put our health in here. Mr. Killy str oh, it's the same. Uh, his eyes widens as he sees me. Okay, let's get this going. Uh, Mr. Killy constructed the bed himself. I rather fear with the same tools he used to sh uses to shape coffins. It is not a comfortable bed, but it's dry, clean, and warm. Okay. Right on, it is morning, night has passed. I sit up talking with Mr. and Mrs. K, as the wind rattles the shutters and the fire shrug its way in the wood. I'm very hungry, and Mrs. K's galettes are impossibly good. Mr. K pretends to grumble about foreign cooking. No one is convinced. Right on, right on, right on. And now that we have those things available to us, uh, can we do anything with any of our things over here? No. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Uh, cause, uh, there is an aspect of the soul that allows you to just straight up go here. I do not ever remember which one it is. Okay, so we're gonna use our wist here and I'm gonna speak with Mr. Killy. Mr. Killy always enjoys a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Killy will offer help as a friend. Well, we don't need that because we want this to be our topic. We're gonna dry out a book. Mrs. Killy, gloomy as always, kind as ever, lights the kitchen fire and helps me dry the book. While Mr. Killy's soars away in the next room. Birth always leaves marks. Oh, 
she appoints. I thought it was gonna be he, so that's also what's drag it. What is her sound like? Mm -hmm. Well, she's a midwife, so she's probably kind of like a, a working woman type, so... She, oh, but she... I think she is... Mm, well, she is foreign in the way that she, uh Well, I, I don't remember much about her. Let's give her, I don't know, some kind of regular voice then. Birth always leaves marks. She opines as she carefully tucks fragments of muslin between the damp pages. Right on, right on, right on. What do we need for this thing? I do never, I do not ever remember. So, Forge, Lantern, or Sky. Okay, well, that's not any of the, what the Killies can give us, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's fine. Oh, what is this book? That's a cool looking book. Uh, yep, so this is the Feathered Book. The feathers that adorn its cover are bedraggled from its time in the sea. Okay, it's a winter mystery. Right on, right on. Well, before we do anything else, let's put our journal here in the post office so that we can get some money. The post mystery regards me with the chilly gaze goddess image like an ancient hill shrine. The librarian, says she. Yes, I have something for you. Wait here, please. Okay. Get our money. The post mistress returns with an envelope addressed to the librarian, Hush House, Brankrock Isle, postmarked in Wales a week ago. So we got the letter here, and we have a 10 shilling note. With that 10 shilling note, uh, we are going to... Oh, this actually tells us what the things are that we could use here. Okay, well, metal or core. Wait, uh, we have core. All right, so we could wait for our core to get unfatigued, so we could wait until tomorrow, and that would get us in here for free. But if we just put money in here, a very welcome at the inn. In the time of the hep Heptarchy, a ring giver was accounted generous. In this bright and civilized century, a beer buyer enjoys the same regard. So let's uh, get uh, this uh, going, because now we can then use the money and get one of our things going. Uh, also, yeah, I was supposed to check on this, so... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We can just get someone from here working for us and open that. Okay. I bought a round for everyone, and another, and one more for luck, and that was I accounted not so bad for a foreigner. I'll find a warmer welcome here next time. So that cost us 12 pence, so that's a shilling. Uh, so now if we put a shilling in here, uh, we're gonna get assistance from a miner, and that miner is going to be uh, good enough uh, to get through the first lock here. So the Mist Cloaked Bridge. Every so often, someone builds a bridge to the isle. Each bridge lasts a hundred years, or two hundred. Then the sea disposes of it. This was built in the 1890s, and that makes it the newest bridge, but that doesn't mean it's new. Okay, you unlock that. And then what I think we're gonna have to do also is let's get our core in here. We're gonna use a little bit of money to get it uh, on fatigue. Because with the core, we can then grab uh, Mrs. Killy, and I'm pretty sure Mrs. Killy can let us get through uh, the next lock we're gonna have here. Uh, also, we probably want to get our wist unfatigued so that we can actually read our... Actually, can we just read our journal just straight up? Mm, no, not really. Can we read the letter without using it? So, yes, we can. Okay, let's read this. Read our letter to reply at ink at a desk. Uh, we don't have inks or desk just yet. Uh, St. Ronwen's Trust wishes to congratulate me on my appointment as Librarian of Hush House. The Trust assures me that it will provide the prom promised stipend each spring, but reminds me that its resources are limited and suggests I seek local assistance in restoring the premises. Let us know when you're all set up and ready to receive visitors, and the letter concludes. It's signed simply the Trustees. Right on, right on, right on. So now we get our uh, core here, and we have the bridge open, and I'm pretty sure if we look at here, yeah, uh, heart one will let us get through this, and heart one is uh, Miss Sis Killy. So you are gonna get her out. Uh, we're not gonna talk to her about anything, and that will be fine. Uh, we're also gonna put our whist in here, and we're gonna put uh, three pence there uh, to get ourselves uh, well, our whist open so we can uh, solve this mystery here in this book. If you are not aware how this game works with books, uh, books have a mystery of a certain value, and you need to put the aspect that is greater or as great or greater than that. This has a aspect of one because it doesn't mark at anything, so our wisdom will be uh, just fine in uh, opening that book up for us because, you know, that's our starting thing that has to be easily opened. Uh, and yeah, Mrs. Killy opened for us at the lodge at the gate. A cottage where Hush House's groundskeeper lived until the fire. If I can get into the place and make it habitable, I can use it as a base for reclaiming more of the house. Right, I didn't... I think I missed... I didn't read the thing here in the beginning, so yeah, we are... Well, we're the newest librarian to this uh, library of secret knowledge, and the previous librarian disappeared seven years ago, and there was a fire, uh, which caused his disappearance, basically. Uh, and no one has been in here for seven years, so that's why it's all locked up, and uh, 
not in a very good shape. Okay, we got our whist back. Yep, that's good. So let's get back here and we are all... Ah, the loveliness of starting a new game when nothing is like loaded by the game and how quickly the screen moves around. Oh, I always love that. I really... I, this might be a weird thing to say, but I actually enjoy it when like strategy games uh, start getting slower in the end because it kind of tells me that yes there is a lot of things happening there I mean it's uh, for a game place perspective it's not that uh, fun of course but uh, I always kind of enjoy it a little bit okay so here is our what is this this is the keeper's lodge yeah so this is where we're gonna live uh, to begin with let's put our health in here uh, so that we can camp in this bed I'll make this my lodging for the time being move your belongings in this room you can then use this bed to rest soul cards and recover melodies okay we have some books here as well, we have Traveling at Night Volume 2 and Volume 1 and 3 on catalog books that we're going to have to catalog. Uh, we don't really have the uh, means to do that right now, uh, but we do have our wrist here. So let's get our journal in here. The Soul Slavers. Some books are to be tasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. A journal. My journal. This feathered cover is familiar, but the storm so scattered my thoughts. Uh, I'm not actually sure if we can actually even solve this mystery with the first time we read this. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Also, uh, here is the key to the hush house, so let's just drop the key over here and open the great gate of the house. The walls of the house tower above me. I had been told that if it was abandoned after a fire, oh yeah, but there is no sign of any such thing. The building will no doubt need restoration, but it's in better shape than I'd feared. Books are the memory that does not die, reads the inscription above the gate. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, so we read our book. Uh, my journal, I'm sure of it. The storm scattered my thought, but I, each page I turn is familiar. I begin to recall now why I came here and the knowledge I yearn for. More about your origin and your aspiration in your journal. You can also access the Tree of Wisdoms from the top of the screen from up here. Uh, so we get our... Oh, we get another core. Okay, yeah, you're right, 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 right. This is... Yeah, we didn't actually solve the mystery. We need to read it twice to solve the mystery. Okay, so who are we? We are the Symergist. What on earth is a Symergist? I do not know. In Ker Adar, I heard the secret gods speak to one another. I thought that would be the end of my journey, but the more I heard, the more I knew I must be missing. I am the librarian of Hush House, and I will find what has been lost. Okay, we came to Hush House with the songs that have fallen into silence, but you can complete the game by recording any history. The Symergist can perhaps find a history with the songs that have fallen. You might wish to begin your studies with the bird song wish to. Okay. Fun history with the songs that have fallen to silence. So we want to create... So if you are not aware of this concept uh, what of the history in this game, that basically just means alternate reality in this game. A history is an alternate reality. We're, I don't know, maybe it's just that... Uh, maybe there are alternate histories. Maybe the current point is always the same, but the histories are different. Not 100% not sure about how it actually goes here. And then here are the memories of the Symergist. I eavesdropped on the songs of the Aviform Hours. I'd heard the warnings. I'd lose my mind, my soul, my skin. All those things are true, but no one ever warns what happens if you get away with it. Which is to say, after that, there just doesn't seem to be anything else worth hearing. Yeah, that's probably true, because a lot of the... This is a thing that's... Uh, I think this is also talking about in Culture Simulator, that the Aviform Hours, they keep a... What would you even call it? Well, it's probably called something in some of the books, where they gather together and talk about the secrets of the world. Uh, yeah, because the, the name, or not, the hours, yeah, the, they're hours, right, that from hours, yeah, hours are gods, so, when you're just, uh, all eavesdropping on gods, you're, you, yeah, that, that, that might not, you know, result in good situations, uh, and apparently it hasn't resulted in a very good situation for us, so we want to dis uh, change the history so that we can hear songs that are as interesting as the things that we heard from the hours, mm, and the, uh, songs that have fallen. Yeah, we want to find interesting songs. Okay, so we open up this room. We got Serena Blackwood's bus here. And what do we need for the other rooms? Okay, Cloistered Garden requires the lantern, so the Reverend can get us in there. And this requires... Okay, Denzel or the Reverend can get us in there. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to go and get Mrs. Killy out again, because we can do that again with our corp. Get her out. Actually, actually, no, well, I was thinking, ooh, maybe we should have read some of the books, because we do have the memories here, but I do not believe these memories are going to help us here, because, yeah. Grail 2, Heart 2, and Scale 2, uh, and these are uh, Sky and Nock. Yeah, Sky and Nock books, so uh, not going to be easy for us to read, because we don't have either Sky or Nock in any of our things, so, yeah. Basically, tomorrow, we just want to catalog these books, and uh, 
get them going. What we're yeah, so what we're doing here now is we're getting uh, Mrs. Killy out because she can. I believe she can introduce us to both. Uh, no, she cannot introduce us to the uh, to the rector or the reverend, whichever. Uh, but he she can introduce us to Denzel the blacksmith. So yeah, a firelit doorway. A mutual acquaintance will introduce me to Denzel the smith. I might get sick or even ten words six or even ten words out of him if I'm patient. Yeah, Denzel is a surprising source of practical advice. The smithy is now available, so if that's something we can do the tomorrow, then uh, so what were the things that the reverend required here? Knock or lantern or sky? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, what did the miner have? Uh, scale forge moon. Okay, so that's not good enough for this. Uh, we could get the miner out again. Uh, and Mr. Killy also doesn't have any of those things. Things. Oh wait, Mr. Killy has Sky, so if we get Mr. Well, we can't get him out today. Okay, so tomorrow we'll get Mr. Killy out uh, so that he can introduce us to the Reverend, and then we'll probably get Denzel out as well so that we can uh, open uh, this uh, door over here. Yeah, maybe we'll take them both out, actually. We'll have Denzel open this one and uh, the Reverend open this one. Okay, and yeah, we're about to move our stuff in here, that's fine. And yeah, there's really nothing we can do for today. Uh, we're gonna lose all the memories, it doesn't really matter. Memories are easy to get. Okay, daybreak is here. So yeah, what I said, we're gonna start with uh, getting uh, Mr. Killy out. Uh, we are going to also get Denzel. Out. I think we can use Core for that. Yes, we can. Uh, we're gonna have to pay him a shilling. Uh, so we'll use the half crown. That's two shillings, and uh, yeah, two and a half shilling, obviously. Yeah, like it says there. So uh, yeah, Denzel will help us get that one door open. Oh, it's sunny today. Uh, that could help us read the sky book. Oh no, it was sky six. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not gonna help us with that. Uh, Mr. Killy, uh, help us get you know this person and Denzel, 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 Denzel. Uh, you come and open this door for us. Uh, and the real question is, well, actually, we can't use any of these to get uh, you, uh, Miss Director out because we need, I believe, to get him out. We need knock or uh, uh, lantern. Yeah. So that means fast or shaft. Uh, oh, oh yeah, but yeah, let's. Oh yeah, let's, let's not forget about these things. So we're gonna have. Yeah, let's. Uh, this is what we do. Uh, we assign our journal here, and we get ourselves an extra tryst. Okay, tryst. That's nice. And we. Yeah, we. Oh, right, right, right. We really gotta uh, also solve the mystery here. That gives us more skill. So yeah, let's get our uh, wist. Uh, over here, we're gonna start this. Put a sixpence in there. We're gonna refresh our wist. And with that, we are going to solve our journal and get some skills. Okay, we got a memory gossip from the rector. Uh, right, but oh, so also, 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 we oh, ooh, can we? So can we get you out? No, we can't get you out yet because we need lantern or knock. Okay, let's hope that the skills that we get will give us lantern or knock. Probably not because it's bird song. It's probably going to be bird song related skills, and bird song is uh, core and health. Okay, core and health. Okay, so core is the thing we want to be getting. Okay, so yeah, so that's the basis of the plan here. So we're gonna take skills that can go to birdsong or skills that can can go to preservation, and we're probably also gonna get skills and go to hushery because we can get tryst. No, for, wait, what was I saying earlier? Yeah, so from birdsong we can get core or tryst. Okay, the core on tryst. And the other place where we can get core is preservation, and the other place where we can get tryst is hushery. Yeah. Okay. So, because I will, I have no. So I'm gonna look at my nose and what do the skills that we get, uh, which mm, wisdoms do they go to, and those uh, wisdoms. Yeah, we're gonna take uh, those three things that I just said uh, mostly. Okay. There's our wisp. So with our wisp, uh, we can solve the mystery of our journal. Winter, a conclusion. I can master this mystery. Yes. 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 Uh, so yeah, that'll give us some... Uh, let's put this over here as well, so we'll know where our uncatalogued books actually are. Uh, is there anything important in here? Well, there's the ink here. Uh, I think we're not gonna answer... <sighs> oh, wait, where? Oh, yeah, where's the, there's the letter. Uh, I wonder if we should answer the letter as soon as possible or wait a little while. Hmm... You know what? You know what? We're gonna wait until we actually get to here before we're gonna answer, because uh, there there is a particular reason that we'll talk about that when we actually get there. 
Uh, so we are, what are we doing? Alright, we're doing that. Uh, which of these, does any of these souls go to this book? Both Trist and Kor go to this. Nice! Okay, so yeah, this is our main desk then. Uh, let's start cataloging books. We'll start with that nocturnal book here, because they're usually easier. I mean, honestly, there really doesn't seem to be that much of a difference between the age of the book and the size of the mystery. Uh, you can get easy books from kind of any period of time, and you can get difficult books from any period of time. What is this? Oh, that is, uh, that is a phonograph record. Uh, an investigation of a foundered country, so we can't actually even do anything with this right now. I'll just put it there. Uh, could I move this somewhere that's less in front of that spot there? Uh, not really. Uh, we're gonna have to open up another door or room to get that happening. Uh, then we'll catalog this book. Hopefully it'll be something we can actually read, because this one is gonna take ages before we can actually get to a phonograph. Okay, the Lion on Tantra. Right, well that's an 8 in edge, uh, that's also going to take a while before we can even think about reading that. Uh, and yeah, we cannot catalog with our health, so we can't really do anything about that. And I really don't want to spend money to... Oh, actually, can we get our uh, souls restored just by resting? No, we always need to add a glass of something, yeah, and I don't really want to spend my beverages uh, getting my souls rested, because we can just wait until the beginning of the next day to get them rested, so why would I use uh, one-time use only uh, things to get that happening? No, no, no. Okay, so what are the lessons that we start with as uh, the Psy merges? They are Sky Stories and Right and Remembrance. Okay, uh, well, we're most definitely gonna, regardless of where these skills go, uh, in uh, the Tree of Wisdom. All oh, right, we actually have to get them as our skills first. Uh, yeah, we'll take that and can we use the desks to get skills? Uh, no, we need act to add a soul card. Because I'm pretty sure that this worked. Like the first time I started playing this game, this worked. Uh, but that was on the preview build, to be honest, though. So yeah. Uh, some, a lot, well actually a lot of ch things have changed from this game since I first started playing this. Okay, so we'll take our run and Remembrance as well. And you go, where do you go? To Birdsong or Hormak History? Yeah, well, I, like I said, uh, we're gonna try to put things in Birdsong, and that's a Trist. Um, that's a Fet. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna put it here, so Trist, Trist and Core are things we're gonna try and get to be big. Right on, right on, right on. A thief of sights, a scavenger of thrones, a border reaver and a thief of nuts, a thief of colors and a thief of bones. This is birdsong. Right on, get ourselves another tryst, which means that we can catalog another book. That is very, very good. Uh, put that there, catalog that. Uh, okay, so what are Ryman remembers? That's moon and winter. Okay, moon and winter, moon and winter, moon and winter. I'm trying to think if there are memories about moon and winter that are easy to get. Well, there is uh, salt. That's an easy memory to get. Uh, okay, that's a book that's written in a language that we don't speak. At uh, the depths of the moon. So, yep, that's not going to help us get anywhere either. And here is our run and remembrance that goes into bird song. Okay, so 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 what we're gonna have to do? Ooh, I was thinking, oh, we're gonna have to get Mr. Killy out, but that's a tomorrow thing, clearly. Uh, yeah, we don't have things that we can use to upgrade our run and remembrance. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to use two of my runs and remembrances to upgrade my run and remembrance, because we can get it to level three if we just uh, use memories instead of these other things. Okay, what are we required to get in here? Uh, that's a Grail too. Uh, well, that's Mrs. Killy and us talking to Mrs. Killy with our core. So yeah, we can clearly get these doors opened quite easily. Well, this door is still going to be difficult because we don't have things that allow us to get uh, allow us to get the uh, yeah the Reverend out from the old rectory. So ooh. ah, that's actually going to be quite difficult. No, no, the Sunny, the Sunny. I can remember. We can use. We can use. We can use. We can use. I can get you. Ooh, yeah. We can use memories. That's a very important thing. We can use memories to increase the aspects of our helper people. Very important to know. I missed that in the beginning of the first run, and oh boy, did it make this game go slower in the beginning. <laughs> okay, morning is here again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get Mr. Killy out uh, because he can then uh, get us out to the beach here. 
and on the beach is very there is a thing that is, makes it very easy to get the memory of the salt that I was talking about. I should probably talk to Mr. Killy as well to figure out what are his uh, what are his uh, things. Okay, uh, so we can yeah we can get anyone with the rain we can get anyone to open this door. Uh, so that's nice. Oh what what is oh right you 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 are here. Uh you 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 help us get over here please. And then we're gonna get your wife out as well. Okay, there's Mrs. Killy. Uh, we're gonna talk to her about the. Oh wait, you're stored with the Grail too immediately, right? I for I forgot that. Uh... Wait. All right, we can only open one door at a time, so we're gonna have to wait until this door is open. Also, let's uh, yeah, keep on cataloging books if we can do that. Trist and this one over there. Thank you. And that was the wound wounds, or I assume it's the wound wounds. Uh, 18 Kilosimi. I have never managed to read this book. Never. Not in any of the runs I've done. I've done a total of... I think this is the seventh run I've started now. I've finished two. One on the channel and one on my own. And then uh, I have other ones that I just uh, haven't finished. Because uh, I didn't want to finish. But <laughs> uh, I didn't want to get ahead of the original run I was doing. Uh, so I did a lot of uh, runs that were just... Uh, well, not complete. Okay, are you almost done with that? You are almost done with that. Good. Uh, okay, then, Mrs. Kelly, you can open that for us. And over here, uh, if we drop something in here at the sea's edge, uh, do we have anything completely useless that we can drop here? Uh, we can you do something useful with this. Can we get rid of... Okay, this is... Oh, it has to be a thing. Right. Uh, so... Okay, what things are something we don't need? Uh, okay, you are probably not something we need. Uh, what do you give us? Uh, one lantern. You are a flower. Uh, you are a leaf. Okay, flower is better than a leaf, so we'll get rid of the potted dragon tree. We'll throw it in the sea. Uh, the reason for this is... Oh, crap! We're also gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna get our tryst unfatigued at this point as well. Uh, or our wisp, either one. But yeah, one of them needs to be unfatigued. Because this will give us a memory of salt. And salt is a moon memory. And with that one moon memory, we can upgrade our run and remembrance. If we just had a, the uh, salt part that would allow us to do that. Which we don't right now. So yeah, we're going to have to wait until we get refreshed. Uh, what did we get from here? Uh, by the mark shall ye know them. Okay, that's uh, just a six. Uh, six isn't... Well... It's quite hard to get six knock when you don't have anything that gives us knock in the beginning, but uh, basically as soon as we get to, uh, well, as soon as we get our shaft and we get a, like, a clear way to get a knock memory that we don't have to just try to get memories away from, uh, from the people, uh, then that is going to be quite easy. Actually, let's put this down here for now so they'll all be in the same place. Can we fit a fourth one in here? Oh, we can. Strange. And there is a glass of miscast water, uh, which allows us to give knock or moon to other people, uh, which is good, because we're probably going to need some knock to get somewhere. Also, uh, okay, can I put this on top of here? I can. Okay, that's nice. Uh, where can I put you, actually? Uh, so it's a limit. Okay, that's the edge. Limit of the edge. We'll put our journal here next to it because we don't really need it for anything or anymore, or for a long time. We're gonna need it for a lot of things later on, but uh, not really for anything right now. Okay, so now that we have the tryst, let's we'll put the rhyme and remembrance there. Let's put the lesson and the memory and the tryst in there, and we'll upgrade our rhyme and remembrance, and then we can put it in the tree of wisdom and see what we get from it. Uh, it's either core or. Uh, yeah, Trist, because it's bird song, so that's not really going to help us get forward with anything at this point in time. Now, what is the other place where we could put you in Skullica, Sophie? Uh, but yeah, this, oh, it's just another Trist. Ooh, okay. And here it would be an Ureb. Yeah, getting another one would, of course, be, or another part of the solo we don't have would, of course, be nice. Uh, but since uh, we are the bird song person, the Simurgist, uh, I'm, of course, going to put everything I can put to bird song. I'm going to put it into bird song. Uh, but let's just read this uh, poem here as well. The sights we name are rarely named by day. The shapes we seek are rarely sought in clay. The names we claim are often claimed as pay. This is Skalakasafi. 
The shapes that lurked beside you in the frost, the scraps you gleaned of coal and periods. Once these were answers to what we lost. All part of the matter we call birdsong. Oh, so you're telling me that birdsong is is, is... is it related to moth? Oh, it is related to moth, because moth is this line. Or, oh no, wait, is, is this the moth line? Yeah, it is the moth line. Okay, yeah. Because what, what may be lost, that's the Medusa's riddle. Uh, that's very much a moth thing. Uh, okay, so let's assign you there. Get ourselves another tryst. Right on, right on, right on. So how are we going to get ourselves another memory of moth or moon? Well, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, what is this ink? This is a nectar ink. Okay, we don't have ne any nectar books, so that's not going to help us with that. Okay, well, let's just, um, we got a couple of soul parts here, so let's just uh, catalog some books with our soul parts, and, well, it's almost the end of the day. Well, it's just midday. Okay, it's not the end of the day. <laughs> Okay, but now we have a couple more books. Uh, Kione at Abidos. This is a very nice book. Uh, winter 6. We can maybe even get to Winter 6, because remember, remember it's Winter, right? Yeah, that's Winter 3, and our Wist is Winter 2. Yeah, uh... Wait, did Salt have a win uh, Winter memory in, or a Winter aspect to it as well? I'm gonna check my notes. Yeah, Soul does have a winter aspect to it as well. Okay, that's very nice. So if we just dump something else into the sea, we can get our... Uh, well, we can solve that book. Okay, that's very, very good. But that's also going to be a tomorrow thing. Wrapped in the King, that's eight hot. Okay, let's put you up there for now. Okay, there's really nothing else we can do today. Actually, 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 there is something else we can do today. Uh, we can go to the seaside here and use our health. And I'm pretty sure these skills, yeah, these skills are good enough for us to do some beach combing. So let's get, oh, well, all right, that's just going to be the key. Right, the first time we do beach comb, we always find the key. I should probably sometimes try doing beach combing before I've actually used the key. Because that could be, maybe if we'll find something, like, maybe we'll find something unique that way. I don't know. So there is the Hush House key. It is a thing and a key. The part of the soul called Shaft is left outside the wide door of the manses as a key in the door. Or say sword outside a king's hall if you listen to the noble endeavor. There's not much we can actually do with this thing, this key, but, uh... There are certain things that it is very useful for. Okay, what are you? You are also a uh, plant leaf. Okay, so we're going to take you and we're going to drop the key here so that uh, if ever we go outside, we remember to take the key with us. Not really, I mean, because we don't, but you know, in a role-playing kind of sense here. And yeah, there's nothing else for us to do today, so let's uh, get till tomorrow. Okay, today is here, or the, tomorrow is here, uh, and I just realized that, yeah, this is, was this was an extra two, and we had a rain memory. We could have taken either of the killies out, talked to them about the memory rain, because it has an extra two aspect, and we could have opened this one as well. Oh, well, uh, not uh, that important, maybe, then. Okay, uh, well, I mean, it is important, but let's uh, dump this thing to get that memory out again, so that we can actually read that book. Uh, hopefully it's raining. Oh, it's a gale today. Gale doesn't help us get anywhere. No. Okay, Nectar 2, Lantern 2. Let's see. Uh, do we have things that give Nectar? Uh, like the tea, maybe? Does it give Nectar? Uh, what about the wine? Okay, the wine gives 2 Nectar. Okay, so let's uh, take a serving of the wine. Let's uh, get a Mrs. Killy out. And we're dumping the thing here. Yep. It's already dumped, so we got the memory here. Okay, so with that memory, what we can do is we can take the Kioni at Abidos, or Abidos, I... I have checked how this is pronounced, and both Abidos and Abidos are apparently acceptable. Uh, this is my, what my memory tells me, because this book is also found in Colis Simulator, and I did that checking back then, so my memory is not always very good. Okay, so yeah, we'll put the Wist in there, we'll put the Rhyme and Remembrance in there, and the Memory of the Salt in there, and that is Winter A Conclusion. I can master this mystery. Yes, please, let's master that. Get some new skills, maybe. Okay, there is our Dandelion Wine, a, well, a glass of Dandelion Wine, and there is Mrs. Killy. So, Mrs. Killy, get yourselves a little bit of a morning buzz going on. And then we can open up this garden, because, you know, you want to get a little bit of buzz when you're doing gardening work. 
Okay, that opened up, and I'm thinking I probably should be cataloging these books all the time when I'm doing something else, but then again, uh, is it that important? Okay, for Inector's uh, Edge, uh, we're not going to be opening up that very easily. Uh, three in winter, that should be very, very, very doable. Like, easy as pie. Uh, three knock. Uh, Gale, where are you? No, you were not. It's fog that is knock. Uh... Wait, something had knock. Did it not? Oh, right, the key. Ah, the key. The key has knock, but we can't give the key to other people uh, to help them with that. Also, this thing has knock. And this thing. Uh, they're both drinkable, so. If one of them was edible, that would have helped us. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, how are we gonna get the Reverend out? This real question. Hmm. Or how are we gonna get. Miss the killie out. Hmm. Well, the book is read now, at least, so uh, let's check out what is the... Mem well, actually, let's read all of this. A play dealing with nine-year sojourn of a snow goddess in the Th Thracian city of Abydos by Apollo Fireweaver, in English, published in 1892, purportedly from an older Greek text. The entity called Kione arrives in a blizzard and demands the city gates are barred. As Abydos falls under her spell, the dead return, but do not speak. For eight years, the city is a place of slow death, frosty ecstasy, and silent beauty. But in the ninth year, a conspiracy of shouts is mounted against the quiet that Kione demands. The conspirators open the city gates, and a scarred man comes to drag Kione out by her hair. Summer returns, but the conspirators die of remorse. Okay, what would you give us? Some snow stories and a memory of regret. Okay, that's a good memory. Uh, Winter 2. Okay, so we're gonna have to... So you are a red book that has a good memory over... Uh, let's put you over there. And then Snow Stories. I'm gonna check my notes uh, if Snow Stories is one of the skills that we want. Well, seems like Snow Stories actually does go the bird song. So yeah, we're most definitely gonna take Snow Stories. Now, unfortunately, it is the exact same things as Run and Remembrance. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. But since it's a skill that goes in the bird song, yeah, we're most definitely gonna take it. And, and while I'm taking things, I should also be uh, cataloging books. Also, ooh, if I were to get my whist on fatigue, to get missed... Uh, wait, this was just a winter three. I'm pretty sure there is uh, there was something wintry. Oh, but it's the, the, the water. Uh, I don't want to use the water immediately because that is a uh, two. Yeah. Two in moon and two in knock, so I'd rather save it for those instead of just using it for the one moon. But, 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 uh, well, we know what has one moon, so yeah, let's get the whist in there, uh, get that started, uh, let's catalog a book, uh, grab that one, put it in there, put the Trist in there, and, uh, is there, oh man, there's, I gotta dump something in the sea again to get the memory so we can get, uh, winter three for a Mr. Killy, but I'm really not sure what I want to dump right now because there's not that much many items here left anymore. Uh, it's probably gonna have to be the shadowless silk then. Uh, flowers are sometimes useful for some things, but I think opening up the door is going to be more useful than uh, what we could do with the. Well, it's gonna take a while before we can even do anything with the flower anyway, so yeah, let's get that memory out. And over here we have our snow stories. Yep, yeah, and if we yeah, it goes to Hashiri or uh, or Hashiri or bird song. Uh, if we were to put it to Hashiri, oh, that would give us wisp. Still all the winds, still every the beating tongue. Now still the mirrored moon, the seal's cauldron. When nothing's left, then nothing is undone. Hashiri. But we probably want to get it to bird song. Over there, uh, we need to get it to level three. Actually, we can use the rhyme and remembrance to upgrade it to level two immediately, because we did like cause we doesn't matter which of these we are upgrading really at this point. So yeah, using that to upgrade this is probably the better idea right now. And we do have the memory of regret. We have the memory of regret here. I didn't need the memory of salt. Didn't actually need to dump that thing in the sea. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, you, you, and you, and the effort of Trist. Yes, please. Mm. And a book is catalogued. What do we have here? The world uh, despoiled. Okay, that's also something we can maybe read at some point. Ah, uh, it's actually, 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 Moon Six. Uh, we are at 
moon one, yeah, uh, plus. Okay, moon three, and with a memory, add moon six. Oh, no, not uh, six, four. Well, it's maybe doable. Do we have any moon thingies in the world? Uh, these are moon thingies, uh, but they're only moon one. You're probably also only moon one, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's catalog another book. Put the tryst in there, put that in there. And here is our snow stories, uh, level two. Wind, woe, and winter. Actually, what is Ryman remembers about? To speak with the dead, torment the living, to celebrate both. Right on, and Sky Stories was the nine winds gossips, and sometimes we can listen. Right on, right on, right on, and yeah, we're probably not gonna be doing. Oh, right, we're still actually doing that. That wasn't the, what we just finished, and two things finished, so we got our whist. And here is the Journal of Thomas the Wolf. Okay, put that over here, and yell yeah, the whist. Yeah, the idea was to get Mr. Killy out. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Killy, come and play with me. We're gonna need to you to get a little bit of winter in you. Oh wait, the gale! Oh bloody hell! Uh, okay, gale. That's that's sky four. We have sky four book here, or not sky four, sky three. Uh, so most definitely we can with just the gale. And the sky stories, uh, we can most definitely, yeah, let's use our health here. Yeah, we can master this book, so that's very good. Uh, more skills for us. Okay, and Mr. Killy, please come out and please open this door for me. Thank you. Oh, what did it actually say? The long tower looks like it's been abandoned much longer than the seven years. Uh, in the nocturnal period, the inhabitants probably spend most of their time on the seaward side of the isle. I need help to restore the room above. Also, it's already dusk. I really should be using my last core here to catalog these books, so let's catalog them. Okay, a couple more books to catalog. That's always a very good. And yeah, we really, really just want to actually get through here. Oh, so that really means we really just want to get some fast or shaft so that we can get the... Uh, actually, shaft would be the real answer. So we can get the Reverend out and talk to him about with our shaft. We could just open this door, because we really just want to get into here uh, to begin with, uh, for a very particular reason that I'll talk about when we actually get there. Okay, Baronial Period Book, a six in a language that we do not speak. Uh, these, where these, where did I put the, oh, these, these are the ones that we can't read just yet, right? I think this, that's why these are here. Uh, yep, and you're something that, uh, actually, you're just an eight. Uh, let's put you up here. I think this was an eight as well. Yep, you're readable, because we do speak a Sanskrit to begin with. Okay, so here is the journal of Thomas de Wolf. Thomas de Wolf, second Baron Brancrug, was nicknamed Baron Silence of Castle Silence for his tax turn severity. Most likely the origin eventually of the name Hush House. There are very few personal details here. Thomas, a talented astronomer and aeronoscopist, dispassionately details his observations and the building of the observatory atop the Watchman's Tower. As he recalls the passing of the Great Comet in 1576, the tone finally becomes more animated, but also more obscure. Thomas cites his dawn period namesake, Abbot Thomas, as an authority on wind, moon, and shell in the heavens inferior. He observes, My predecessor knew this truth. Three blossoms half the watchman's tree. Paper, ink, and flame. The Great Comet, I now aver, is that flame. Okay, so this it gave us a memory of salt. Okay, so we don't have to be dumping stuff anymore to actually get the memory of salt. That's very good, because we can just read this book. And the lesson of Ornoscopy. Okay, let's put this up here. And uh, yeah, do we want Ornoscopy? I'm going to check my notes again. Well, I think we're going to take it just for the fact that uh, we can. It's, it's not one of the birth song things that we need to. But we can put it into other things, and we really need to get our uh, soul parts to begin with. So that we can actually have well at least one of every soul part. Unfortunately, my notes are not very complete. Uh, on all the skill aspects, so I don't even know what we can get from this. Well, it goes to Horomach history or Hushri, so I know that we can get those things that we can get from Horomach history and Hushri, those being Metal, Feth, and uh, Trist or Whist. But I'm not sure which of those two it would give us, so yeah, let's just get it. Unfortunately, it is also a sky and moon thing, like all of our things are moon things by now, I think, yeah. Well, not all. Uh, this one doesn't have moon, but that uh, does have a sky in there. Oh, it's Daybreak. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing something right now. Okay, what do we need to get into here? Okay, Winter 4. So that is once more just, uh, just Mr. Killy and, uh, the memory 
the memory of regret which we get can get from the Kiane book. Uh, so Trist there, uh, you are Kiane and Abydos. Yes, that will give us uh, the regret that if we speak to uh, Mr. Killy with that. Oh, rain. Uh, was that going to be useful for anything? No, not really. Uh, Mr. Killy, come out, please. And yeah, we're going to have to wait until we get the memory first. Okay, here is our Oronoscopy. So where does Oronoscopy go to? So it would go into Horomach History and give us fit. If night is peace, then dawn is a battle. When the sun drives the stars from the sky, a day may come when sun's victory is not assured. The battles of heaven are a matter of Horomach History. Horomach History is, of course, uh, the bright arch dealing with the laws and contentions of the hours and their names. Or you go to Hashuri. If the stars are wisdom, then dawn is ignorance. A day may come when there is no dawn. Ornoscopy should be numbered among the night arts. Now that would give us more Trist, and I, like at some point I said, hey, we probably want to gather Trist and Core. But I think that getting that fet out is probably a better idea to begin with. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get enough Trist to get to a, a plus plus Trist, or maybe even, well, probably even a plus 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 Trist. Because uh, that's going to be one of the things I am looking for. But right now, in the beginning, I just want all the parts of the soul. So yeah, let's drop Oronoscopy in here. And get that fit. Uh, which is, of course, the part of us which walks in dreams. Okay, and we did have another uh, table here. But I'm pretty sure this doesn't really take any of our... Well, it does take the health. So yeah, let's use the health a catalog of that book. Let's use a little bit of... No, I can't do it that way. Gotta put this in here first. And yeah, put a little bit of Trist in there. Uh, yeah, Mr. Killer is out. We're getting the memory out. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do for now. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? Oh, right, this is a knock, knock for book. Yep, we don't have knock things, so that's not gonna be uh, happening real easily. Uh, okay, the radical measure 12 in rows. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put you. Uh, we'll put you up here for now, put you in better spots later on, and then here we have uh, the hissing key. Actually, let's put eight here. Uh, you were eight as well. And you two, come here. And, yeah, you don't take any of the other soul parts. Nope, okay, well, uh, right, can't put the soul part in first, can't put you in there first. Let's catalog that book, we're getting the memory out from here right now, so let's talk to uh, Mr. Killy about that regret that we're feeling after reading uh, that book. Because it's not that good of a book, really. I mean, sure, the ideas are interesting, but uh, the text style just... Uh, should not have read it again. Okay, so we have 108, which is a scale for mystery. Do we have any scale? Like, there's some scale in our health. That's one. Uh, none of our memories that we got out just yet have scale. No. Okay. Mr. Killy, help us open this bedroom here. This is the long tower, second floor. Freezing air, even tendrils of fog drift from the tower top. I should probably seek help from someone who knows local traditions for dealing with restless spirits. Okay, seriously, this is a rose. Rose two. How many? Uh, do we have any rose? Because Fed has rose two in it. Do we have anything edible that has rose? Well, we have uh, this bread here. So if we go and get Mrs. Killy out with the core here, uh, I'm pretty sure we can open up uh, that next part as well. And yeah, let's catalog that final book we still have here on cataloged. Very much looks like we don't have books that we can read at this point, so yeah, we most definitely want to get be going uh, more inside of there, or deeper inside into the building. Uh, right, Fet. Yeah, let's talk to you about our Fet, and yeah, we're gonna feed you this bread afterwards, uh, so that we can really get in here, because yeah, like I said, we really want to get into this room. I'm really hoping to get in there in this first episode. That would be very, very good. Okay, and we have It Is Written. Right, scale 8, uh, so 8s go in here, and yeah, 4s and 6s, yeah, you can you can stay here, I'll put more 4s for, more and 6s over here at some point. Also, yeah, let's move this over here, because uh, then it's not in front of uh, the little place where we can actually put books into. Uh, we do have the perinculate here, and the perinculate would actually allow us to read this book. Uh, we don't have any soul parts left, though, so yep, that's gonna be a tomorrow thing. 
Okay, Mrs. Killy, uh, get some bread in you as well. Okay, this door opened now. That's very good. Uh, we're gonna glab, glab, grab that the glass of water and uh, put it over here. Uh, probably brew some coffee as well as we just have the packet. We actually have some coffee ready. Okay, uh, anything else we can do? Well, all of our soul, yeah, all of our soul parts are gone for today. So the only thing we can really do is just uh, get uh, Mrs. Killy out here and open this door for us. Do that, please. Uh, this is the first true threshold. I have reached the threshold of the house proper. The librarians of the Curia were scholars of note. Some were potent adepts. From here, I should proceed carefully, observing the proper forms, making the appropriate offerings. The villagers and other locals know ways on earth and sea hereabouts. Their assistance will be invaluable. This only took 10 seconds, right? That wasn't a, the 60 seconds that it usually takes. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't realize that before. So we have a garden over on this side, and a garden on this side. Uh, Grail and Hall. Yeah, those should be easy to get. Like, Mrs. Killy will open this for us quite easily. So what do we need here? Okay. Uh, well, Winter 4 is what we can get Mr. Killy to be. So yeah, we'll we'll open that tomorrow. Uh, do we? Uh, we don't have any soul parts, so we can't even uh, start reading to get that book. So we'll have to wait until morning. Okay, morning is here. So let's start by reading Kiani and Abayos again, even though it always just makes me regret things. <laughs> uh, daybreak, you go out of my way. Thank you. Uh, we'll use the Trist because we have a lot of Trist, and then we'll use our Wist to get Mr. Killy out. Uh, getting another Wist would be very nice, so we can actually uh, work with Mr. Killy a little bit better. But this will do for now. Uh, we have four books to catalog, and you only take the health, right? Yeah, but we're not using health for anything else, so let's catalog a book with that. And uh, might as well use our other things, or our consider here to uh, catalog some more of these books. Go back to six times speed. It is a cloudy day today. Uh, that doesn't really help us in any way. Uh, Mr. Killy, come out, please. Uh, so is there anything else we could do? All uh, right, we could get Mrs. Killy to open up uh, well, this quite easily. So uh, let's get her out as well. I'll uh, have both of the Killies over here. We'll have fun with them today. Okay, uh, 10 in Forge. Okay, let's put 10s up here for now. And you are, oh, the Geminiad, right, a book we cannot read because it's in a language we do not speak. Okay, uh, we're, right, there's Mrs. Killy, and uh, we'll talk to her about our core, and that gets her to three hot, which is very good. Okay, and we, ca oh, right, didn't catalog and then we read that okay mrs killy right you're now in a situation where you can open this for us yes please i do that and mr killy we're going to talk to you about regret again because that's just what we do quite often you're very good at listening about my regrets uh we'll drop a tryst in here catalog this book and then drop a this book over here and catalog it with our fet okay so books cataloged Let's see what we got here. The other line. Oh, that's a hot four. That should be quite doable, actually. And what is the other book? Uh, those indignities perpetrated by the deceitful fraternity of Obliviates. Uh, that's a six. Uh, we got our sixes over here. For now, and Mr. Killy, yeah, you are at four. Uh, we're gonna have to wait until that door. Is, uh, we're at, at Mr. Kill Mrs. Killy opens this up, and then we can put Mr. Killy in here. Okay, got it. Open up, Mr. Killy. Uh, open up this for me, please. Oh, you can do that as well. Well, that means that the, we know exactly what we're gonna do tomorrow with that. Uh, what do we need for here? A heart four. A heart four means that we'll need a memory of heart somehow, and I don't think we have heart memories at this point. So it's gonna take a while before we can get into here. Oh, well, actually, we did, didn't we just find a heart four book? That's probably gonna be quite easy to read. Okay, and yeah, we did manage to open uh, the Grand Ascent ground floor here in the first episode, which is what I wanted to do. And the reason why I wanted to get here as quickly as possible is so that we can consider this sofa, or couch, delightful repose, because uh, that will give us a bronze spin tree. 
uh, which is a very good thing. And uh, that's also why I didn't want to talk, uh, write the letter before doing that, because I want to have a spin tree before we actually get visitors coming in here. Uh, we do have some Ross Kro Is this Ross Krogan whiskey? Yeah, this is Ross Krogan whiskey, which gives Rose too. So with the Fet and this, we can get to Rose floor, uh, which means that, yeah, we can open the infirmary with, uh, with anyone, actually. So yeah, okay, what are the other things? We really want to get here as well, like, as quickly as possible. Oh, uh, that's Lantern and Rose. Hmm. Yeah, Rose 4 is easy. Rose 5 might be a little bit more difficult right now. Well, the, uh, let's have the time pass while I'm talking about things like this, so we'll actually get to the morning faster. Uh, and yeah, this we can use Mr. Killy to open this. We can use Mrs. Killy, or actually either one of them to open this if we just use our... Uh, let's grab a Ross Krogan whiskey in our inventory. Uh, so I'll know that that's why it's uh, there. Uh, yeah, and over here, yeah, that's gonna be difficult. What about this one? Uh, heart 5. Uh, heart 3 is easy. If we get, no, getting to heart 5, if we don't have heart 2 memories, that's gonna be quite difficult. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, first of all, once again, let's read this boo that always causes regrets in me. Uh, let's go get Mr. Killy out with our wist. And after we've gotten him out, uh, we'll also take uh, Mrs. Killy out immediately. Uh, use the core for that. Uh, is Sunny gonna do anything for us today? Mm, well, uh, we do have the Sky story, so if there were any Sky books, I think there was a Sky book somewhere. Uh, you. Okay, uh, any of the other. Well, we, we can't get to any other anyway, so. Uh, Sunny, that's two, and the or uh, Sky Stories or Orange both are probably two. Yeah, so that would get us a four. And unless we get the correct mood, that doesn't help us. Well, no, 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 we have a tool here as well, and I'm pretty sure there are. Yeah, there are some things that could get this to work for us. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, put the tool of Sky in there. We'll put the Sunny in there. We'll put a Trist in there. Uh, no, we gotta put a Soul. Uh, actually, we'll put the Health. Yeah, that is a Soul that goes in there. We'll put the Sky Stories in there. Alright! We can craft Wistful Air with this. Ah, uh, but it's not a better memory than Sunny, though. Uh, what about Ornoscopy? What would you... Oh, you're also Wistful Air. Ah! Uh, that's kind of unfortunate that you do the same things. Also not part of my notes, uh, I have not put into my notes what skills uh, which uh, thing creates. It was quite a, much harder to figure that out on my first run, because we really didn't have this thing. Uh, this crafting thing, which is awesome, awesome addition to the game, gonna admit, like, this is very, very good. But yeah, uh, let's start that and hope that we can uh, get something that allows us to actually do something with that. Okay. Hmm, I thought I heard noises that... Oh! A reminder, right, a reminder has come. Okay, yeah, well... <laughs> that... <laughs> damn it! I didn't want to get this reminder. We can't get rid of this reminder. It's gonna be in our inventory for the rest of the game. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, Mrs. Killer, we need to talk to you about a fet. And... Yeah, okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna most definitely gonna have to... Uh, uh, write to the... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to write, we're gonna answer to the letter. Uh, can we answer to the reminder? We're gonna use this ink, reply, yeah, okay, we can. Let's use the tryst. An enigma replied to St. Ronwen's trust. The sea remains, the house remains. What else remains, we shall learn in time. I'm something new, and in time I will learn what that means. Okay, uh, Mrs. Killy, you are at two. Let's give you some wish tea, because, uh, you know, we'd like to get you buzzed in the morning. That's just something that we do. Okay, uh... What? Uh, okay, well this actually gives a rose too. I had completely forgotten that it gives a rose too. Wait, what? I'm gonna have to check my notes. Do I even have a whistle air in my notes? Yeah, I do, and it, it, does, it is marked as rose in my notes as well. Okay, okay, okay good. I just, I just completely forgotten that it gives rose. Uh, I was gonna... I was trying to actually read the... the Book, not craft. Huh. I did not even know that that was a thing that could happen. That it would just... Oh, we got rid of that first thing when we did this. Oh, that's nice. Because I'm pretty sure I've had... In one of my runs, I've had that thing, that reminder there. 
Like the well, that wasn't the reminder. That was the first song. So maybe if I had answered to the first letter, that would have then leave the reminder there. Okay, okay, okay. So oh, we get a memory of intuition from that. Well, that's nice that we got in two memories with Rose too, <laughs> just after we gave her the whiskey that had Rose too. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay. A uh, letter here, some money in there. Send a letter. Stamp, envelope, send. Okay. Now I can expect visitors, correspondents, and a stipend from the trust every spring. Uh, is it? No, it's summer. Right. Uh, and is there anything we can really do right now that would be in any way useful? Uh, well, we can try and read that book again and see that maybe if this time it wouldn't craft the Wistful Air. Okay, the Wistful Air, uh... Right, no soul power goes in here. Uh, can you take the Wistful Air table? No, that is unfortunate. Yeah, so there's really no point in trying to do that, uh, right now. Uh... Okay, that just means we're gonna gotta get, got to get our health refreshed. Stop that, put a shilling in there. So we'll try that again. Okay, Mrs. Killy, open this infirmary for us. Careless visitors have tracked in mud through the door, and the windows have been open to the elements for years. And while you're doing that, we're gonna talk to Mr. Killy about regret again. Okay, Mr. Killy at winter 4, so he's gonna be ready to open uh, that uh, door for us. But as I'm looking at how long this recording has been going on, I think it's time to put a cut in here. I'm Uncle Carp, this has been Book of Hours. Goodbye, bro. Thanks for watching. See you next time!